Alrighty, so in this example, we're going to uh, solve this proportion. 0.3 over 0.18 equals n over 0.6. We have to find n. What is this number that will go here that will make these this proportion uh, correct? So proportion is a fraction equal to a fraction. Whenever you have a fraction equal to a fraction, you can cross multiply like this. This number times this number equals this number times this number, or vice versa, right, any way you want. But let's do it, so so this times this, so 0 0.3 times 0 0.6 equals this times this, 0 0.18 times n, okay? And so that's our first step. And now we've got some uh, decimal work to do. So we've got a multiplication here, and so on and so forth. Uh, what would I propose? Well, I think most students would probably want to multiply this first and then divide. So let's go ahead and do that. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.6. 6 times 3 is 18. And there are one, two decimal points in the question. So that means there's one, two decimal points in the answer. So 0.18 or 0 0.18 is what this becomes, 0 0.18 here equals 0 0.18n. So what's the next step? So, yeah, exactly. So n has been multiplied by 0 0.18, so to get n on its own we need to divide by 0 0.18 on both sides. So what we get is, so 0 0.18 here obviously cross cancel and you get n on the right and this over this, the same thing over the same thing, that's 1 over 1 which is just 1, so n equals 1. So that's the answer, n equals 1, right? Um, and you know some students prefer at this point to divide by 0 0.18, that's perfectly fine, you can do that. Um, and you would have some amount of cross-canceling going on. Um, I don't know if it's if it's um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a bit messy. I mean, you could you could do some dividing here. There are, there is some cross-canceling to be done, but it's it's also easy to make a mistake when you're doing this type of stuff. So I think most students would like to just multiply and then divide. But all I'm trying to say is, I mean, you could do like 3 to 3 goes once, and that you get actually 0 0.06. So, so what you have is 0 0.1, you know, times 0 0.6 all over 0 0.06. And that becomes, um, where, where was that at here? I was here. And that becomes like uh, this times this. Uh, becomes 0 0.06 over 0 0.06 and that is 1 okay so we get one this way as well a little bit messier right but probably so probably best to just multiply these two like we did and then divide